everyone outside there that is watching B10 TV. Again, it is Teacher Fred from the Gesera district that is from the school known as Wisdom Center. It is found in Karumuna. I'm going to take you through a mathematics lesson again. For those who have been following us, they know what we have been doing. However, uh, before I begin my lesson, I would advise those who have just joined us that uh, in case after my lesson, or those who have only have joined us after us beginning for some time, and would wish to have a full lesson, you will simply just go and subscribe to uh, YouTube, YouTube channel from BTN. You will check on their Facebook accounts, you will check on their Twitter accounts and their Instagrams. Meanwhile, I said we were doing, uh, we were dealing with the unit 6 which was dealing with the proportions, percentages, ratios and the mixtures. Now as I talk now, we are almost coming to the end of the unit and uh, for today's case we shall we have to look at this lesson known as finding ratio of English. I want us to look at this. We are still dealing now with the ratios. Or how to find the ratio English. That is today's lesson. It's what we are going to look at. Uh, finding ratio of English. Finding ratio of English. In simple terms, last time we looked at uh, ratios and I know what it means by ratios. Now, this si last time we looked at how to increase ratios, how to decrease money using ratios, how to increase money using ratios, how to increase other items in simple terms, are meaning how to increase quantities and decrease quantities using ratios. Now, this time around, they have given us quantity already which has been increased and they want us to find out the ratios that increased this quantity. That is what they are meaning by saying finding ratio of increase. We want to find that ratio. It increased from which ratio to which ratio. That's what they want. But at first they, gave us, they used to give us ratios as we find the amount that has been increased. But this time round, they want us to find the ratios which, have, uh, which has increased this amount that they have given us. So let's look at our example one. What does it say? When you look at example one, example one says, Wisdom Center in Vujasela District bought 40 million uh, grams of sugar in the year 2018. In 2019, they bought 50 million grams. Then the question says, that is the statement, then the question says, work out the ratio of increase. When we look at this, you realize that this school in 2018, it was using less sugar compared to the amount of sugar which is used in 2019. So what does it mean? It means at first, if they were using 40 million grams of sugar, then later on after one year, that is now 2019. Their amount increased from 40, uh, from 40 millions to 50 millions, I mean million grams, 40 million grams, and it increased from 40 million grams to 50 million grams. So we want to see if it increased from 40 million grams to 50 million grams, which ratio increased this amount of sugar is what we are looking at. Now, we shall not waste a lot of time. We shall come here and say, we have now to identify, first of all, the old amount. So I will say, old amount. Old amount. Old amount. 
or the amount of sugar which amount was this person or oh, this school here using in 2018 now that amount of 2018 is what we are calling as a old amount it will be 40 million grams so i'll come here and say it will be 40 million grams so when you look at this this is the amount of sugar that this school was using in which year in the year 2018 that 2018 the amount we used is the one we are calling as all the amount then let's come to another year we have already identified the amount of sugar which was used in 2018 then we come to 2019 which was now a new year when you get uh, 2018 and 2019 2019 becomes the new year so i want us to look at that new amount shall we say new amount new amount new amount of sugar we now want to check on that uh, how many uh, grams were they using by the time they reached a year 2019 that year is what we are referring the amount of sugar which was used in that year 2019 is what we are referring as a new amount so in 2019 they used 50 million grams and that 50 million grams now becomes our new amount so i'll come here and i identify it as 50 million 50 million grams so this is what they were using previously in 2018 40 million grams then in 2019 now that becomes our new year with the, our new amount of sugar that was used that was 50 millions after getting our 50 millions uh, we shall look at our question what does it want the question say work out the ratio of increase now we want to find out the ratio of increase how do we find the ratio of increase this is what we shall say increase ratio of increase or increase ratio ratio increase ratio of increase how are we going to find ratio of increase for us to be in order to determine the ratio that increased this amount from 40 million grams to 50 million grams we shall get the new amount we divide by old amount once we divide we shall have a numerator and a denominator and the two num uh, the numerator and the denominator will help us to determine the ratio of increment or ratio of increase that is what i'm trying to mean so we shall say ratio increase will be equal to new amount new amount divide by old amount divide by old amount so we are looking at that for you to find the ratio that increased this quantity of sugar from 40 million grams to 50 million grams we shall use the formula as we say ratio increase will be equivalent to new amount divided by all the amount and in this case which one is our new amount our new amount we have already identified it as 50 million grams so if we have already identified it as 50 million grams we should not wait uh, or waste a lot of time we shall just 
substitute everything here with what we have identified. We know our new amount. At the same time, we know our old amount. So our new amount is identified as a 50 million. So I'll come with my 50 million. I'll write it here. Fifty million grams. That is the first new amount. Then let's come. We divide it by all the amount. So all the amount will be four millions, because we have already identified all the amount as four millions. So we shall divide it by forty millions, not four. Forty millions. Grams. So when you look at this, you realize that the relationship between the numerator and the denominator, they had the same units. That was grams. Everything was measured in grams. So I will, not, I will just copy this statement here. When I copy it here, I start working it out. So I will copy it as 50 million. 50 million grams divided by 40 million grams. 40 million grams. Now we are dividing new amount by all the amount in order for us to find the ratio of increment or the ratio of increase. So I'll come here and say this grams will divide out or will cancel out with the grams the units will now go away then we shall remain with 40 millions up we have 50 millions so i will come and say this zero will divide out with this zero this zero will divide out with this zero this zero will divide out with this zero as you cancel down a zero from down you have to cancel it from up as well you cancel up one, cancel down one, cancel up one, cancel down one. Don't just feel like you just cancel out without balancing. Because you'll find out that sometimes some numbers may have more, than, more zeros than other numbers. So if you are just canceling out without canceling here one, one, then you'll end up by canceling in a certain number more zeros, yet the other number has less zeros. That's why we encourage you and emphasize on this. You cancel one zero down, you cancel one zero up. You cancel a zero from a numerator, you cancel a zero from a denominator. A numerator, denominator. Numerator, denominator. So when you look at this, you'll find out that all the zeros have been canceled out. And when you check a number of zeros on the first number or on the numerator and a number of zeros on the denominator, they look to be the same. This one will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven zeros. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are all seven zeros. That's why you find out that all zeros have been cancelled out. Then from there, look at our number and identify what is there. We are now remaining with five out of four. That is our fraction we are remaining with. Look at the fraction that we are having at the moment, five out of four. When you look at this, five out of four, do we have any common factor that can divide the two numbers? No. We don't have any common factor that can divide the two numbers and gives us the answer without a remainder. So if we don't have any number that can divide all of them or any factor that can divide all of them, what will happen? What will happen is we shall come with the first numerator. The numerator will now be a ratio to the denominator. That will be now our ratio of increment. We shall come here and say the ratio of increment, this will be equivalent to the numerator to denominator. This will be now our ratio, numerator to denominator. Then from here, we just come and substitute, whereby 
we know very well that our five is a numerator, so we shall have five, two, four. That becomes our ratio of increment. Five to four. Then from there, I'll say my answer ends here. My answer ends here. For you to prove that you have passed or you have failed, what are you supposed to do? What you need to do, just get the first ratio out of the second ratio times the only amount that you were given. Then you'll see what, will, what shall we come out with. We shall say, if you want to know if you have passed or you have not passed, just come and say five out of four times the original amount or the old amount. What is the old amount? The old amount is 400, I mean 40 million grams. So I will come and multiply by 40 million grams. Remember here we are now proving if this ratio can increase 40 million grams to 50 million grams. Okay. So I will say this four will cancel out with this. This four will cancel out with this. Then when you come here, you'll have five times ten million grams. Then you'll find out that this ratio here it will increase forty millions. It will increase forty million grams to. It will increase forty million grams to. Get five times 10 million grams. You will come out with 50 million grams. So this confirms us that the ratio is correct. Since you have proven it from here by saying you have just got the ratio as it is, the first number we have determined it as a numerator divided by a denominator. So if you get the first ratio out of the second ratio, times the original amount, you'll find out that really the answer will be relevant to what they have given us here. So this proves us that we are right. Let's look at another example. I want us to look at the second example. I want us to look at the second example. I've cleaned that off because it is not part of the work, but it is just work that is proving you, just a side work to prove you that you have passed or you have failed. So meanwhile, let's look at the second example. Second example. Second example is saying, or says, increase which ratio Which ratio, which ratio increase, which ratio increase 400, 400 X to 8, 8, 100 eggs to 800 eggs. So we want to look at that. This will be our second example. Uh, we want to look at which ratio, according to the question they have said, which ratio increased 400 eggs to 800 eggs. Now, when you look at this statement, we shall also need to identify the old amount or number of X that these people were having. Then after identifying the old amount of X, then from there, we shall need also to identify the new amount or the new number of X that were increased and from there, we shall say, solution will be all, all the number of X, all the number of X 
How many eggs were there at first? All the number of rows of eggs. When we look at this, they are saying, which ratio increased 400x to? Meaning that 400x is now the old number of x that have been existing. So if this is the number of x that was existing earlier before being increased, so we shall identify 400x as our old number of x as a 400, 400 x. So we have already identified the old number of x. At the same time, we need also to identify the new number of x after increasing 400 x because they say they increased 400 to give us 800, meaning that the new number of x became 800 x. So I will say new, new number. I'm writing number in short form, not in no. Somebody may be reading it as old no, no please. This is number in a short form. So I will say new number of x. So that is the number of x that were counted after increasing, after increasing 400x. So they want us to identify here which ratio increased this x from 400x to 800x. That is what we are looking at. We want to see which ratio increased that amount of x. Because when you look at 400 and 800, 400 looks, uh, appears to be a little bit low than 800. Okay? So, 400x is less than 800x. 800x appears to be a really big number. It looks like a big number, or it appears a big number, than 400. So from there, for us to be in position to identify the number of, uh, to identify the ratio that increased the number of x from 400 to 800, we shall need to first use our formula, just like the way we have done in example one. We shall say, to find the ratio of increase, we shall get ratio of increase is equal to old new amount or new number of x divided by old number of x. That is what we shall we need to do. We shall say increase ratio ratio increase. Ratio increase, we shall say ratio increase is equal to new, new out of old. When I say new, I'm meaning new number of x, which is 800 x. Then when I say old, I'm trying to mean old number of x. Don't say it's just now having new here, again it's having old here from where? No. I'm using new, representing new number of x, which is identified as 800 x. Then at the same time, we're also looking at old, old number of x, which is also identified as a 400 x. So we shall continue. From here, we shall now come to substitute. New number of x, how many are they? The new number of x, they are 800 x. So I'll come here and say 800 x. This is now the new. I'm substituting the word new with the, the amount or the, with the figures that we have been given in the statement or that we have already identified up here. Then from there, I will say divide by old number of x. How many were they before? 
they were 400 X, just like the way we have identified. So I will come, instead of writing the word all, I will uh, come and substitute with the 400X, because 400X is standing in for all the number of X. So I will say out of 400X. After identifying everything like this, then we shall need to solve them out or to work them out or to cancel them out or to divide them such that we can come with the smallest ratio and in simple terms here the ratio we have already almost the ratio but we need to simplify it and we give it in the shortest form we have to give it in the shortest form meanwhile this is the same as saying 800 ratio to 400 but we can't give these figures here because they have got some factors that can divide them out without giving a remainder. Or they have a common factor that can divide the two of them. So let's just copy this statement. We paste it here, then we work it out by saying 800x divide by... 400x. We have just copied this statement and pasted it here. So I want us to work out. These units will cancel out with these units. Meaning that these are no longer x now because units have cancelled themselves out. Then we come to this. We shall say 0 divided by 0. They will go. We cancel up, we cancel down. A numerator with a denominator. We cancel up, we cancel down. A numerator with a denominator. Now, from there, we are remaining with 8 divided by 4. When you look at 8 and 4, they have a common factor that unites all of them. And when you look at that, you realize that all of them are multiples of two. At the same time, all these numbers are multiples of four. So if they are multiples of four, it means all the numbers can be divided by four direct. Or else, you can begin by dividing with the two, because all of them are even numbers. Or they are all multiples of two. So if you divide by two, it will work at the same time. Since all these two numbers are products or multiples of four, they are multiples of four. Let's just divide by four direct. Then I will say by four, one. By four, two. Then here we will come out with two out of one. So from there, I'll come here and say, there are four, okay, there are four, the ratio, the ratio, the ratio of inquiries is, now we want to look at this. We have already divided everything, and we say the ratio will always be determined as numerator ratio to denominator. Okay? We know here our numerator is 2, our denominator is 1. So I'll come here and I will say, finally, the ratio of increment will be 2 to 1. That will be my final ratio. Then I'll come and answer. Okay? Don't use a free hand when you are underlining. Don't use a free hand when you are underlining. I'm, I'm not using a ruler right now because I have some, my, my ruler has got some issues. It, it got broken yesterday, but one. So. I'm looking way forward to get another one. But for your case, 
who is watching as a candidate outside there, don't use a free hand because you are copying from the teacher using a free hand. I don't always use a free hand. That is the reason as why you are not seeing me with a free hand. Meanwhile, the next coming lesson, you will see me using my ruler. Okay? So, when you want also to prove this number, whether you are correct or you are wrong, we are going to use the same method. We shall look at our ratios we are having. Then the first ratio will be 2 out of 1. We want to confirm whether really this ratio can increase 400 to 800 or it cannot. So I will say 1 out of 2, that is our ratio, times the old amount or the old number of x. What is the old number of x? The old number of x, we identified them as 400. So I will multiply by 400. Remember, 2 out of 1 is the same as saying 2 times 400. So this should give us 800x. So, what, are, what is the implication? The implication is, when you get, when, when you have, when you have 800, I mean 400x, but you want to increase them to 800x, you require a ratio of 2 to 1. 2 to 1 will give us 800x. And this proves us that we are right. Because this is now the new amount. And which is already in the question. Because they said all is this and it was increased by this. So we have used also the same ratio of 1 out of 2 times the old number to identify the increment which we have now identified as 800 and that proves us right then from there without wasting a lot of time let me check on the last example meanwhile as i go to the last example for those ones who are following us outside there please our candidates take note of the work that we are doing once time comes and they open schools, move with your book, with the work that you've done to your mathematics teacher at your school, present to him. After presenting to him, tell him, teacher, this is my research that I've been doing during the lockdown. Then from there, the teacher will go through, will mark you, and in case there is where you need to be advised or adjusted to. He will help you to identify. Meanwhile, the methods we are using here, they are suggested methods. Other teachers may also use different methods. If they use different methods and it gives you the same answer, don't complain that your teacher is giving you a wrong answer. I mean a wrong method. Oh, teacher Fred gave me a wrong method. What matters a lot in mathematics, we have very many ways of killing a rat. Someone can poison, someone can beat just yes, using a stick, somebody can use a rat trap, it's just what we do in mathematics. Somebody can use a different method to get the answer, another person uses a different method, another person uses a different method. So, always have all the methods for your own benefit, such that when examination comes, and you come across any number of such kind. When you have more than one method, you use the simplest method that you understand better to enable you pass. So let's continue with the example three. Example three. Example three is my last example, last but not least. When you look at example three, example three is saying, is Simbi Is Simbi Sonia? Is Simbi Sonia? Is a pupil? Is a pupil at? Wisdom Center, Wisdom Center, School, 
These are people at Wisdom Center School and Wujasara District. In Wujasara District, Simbisonia is a pupil at Wisdom Center School in Wujasara District who used who used to carry to carry 30 kilograms of who used to carry 30 kilograms of sugar who used to carry 30 kilograms of sugar in 2000 2015 after after 2018 She increased she increased to fifty kilograms. Calculate calculate the ratio. of increase calculate the ratio of increase let's look at the question together the question is saying is Sonia why do I always like using these names here like is Sonia these are our candidates in my school where I teach so we would use always their names purposely for the candidates to make sure that you identify this content and you put it in daily life. We shouldn't just use names that do not exist. We use your names in your classes mostly to make sure that you realize the content and you read it in your daily life. For example, this is Sonia here. They have said some years back she was carrying 30 kilograms. After again some years, she increased to 50 kilograms. This is very normal. Like you, the candidates who are seated outside there watching us, you recall two years ago from now, you could not, most of you, you could not manage to lift the kilograms that you can carry today. Yeah? Meaning that by the time you were still a little bit young, you used to carry small luggage. But as you grow up, you also put in more energy and you start carrying heavy luggages compared to what you used to carry when you are still young. For example, for those when you were at five years, most of you who are watching us on BTN TV, I mean candidates outside there, by the time you were five years, you could not manage to lift something which is worth 10 kilograms. Any luggage that would reach 10 kilograms, you would not be in a position to carry that luggage. But right now, you who is watching at us, you'll find out that even when somebody gives you something of 15 kilograms, you can easily carry it up. So that is the reason as why we use these real names from our classes. I use this Western Center School because it is a school where this child is coming from. And I want my candidates to look at this to realize that what we are talking of 
is not just existing in air, but it is what happens on the ground. It's what we do on the ground. Now, let's look at our question. The question says, Simbisonia is a pupil at Wisdom Center School in Wujesela District. Who used to carry? She used to carry. By that time, she used to carry how many kilograms? 30 kilograms of sugar. In which year? That is in 2015. She used to carry 30 kilograms. That was 2015, five years ago. Then from there, after 2018, after 2018, she increased, she increased to 50 kilograms, meaning that early alone, she was carrying only 30. But as time goes, as she's growing up, she started carrying less weight. Now at the moment as she's growing, she's also increasing on the luggage that she can carry. For example, she used to carry 30 only. At the same time, when she reached, when she reached in 2018, she started to now carrying 50, meaning that she increased. So they are asking us, calculate the ratio of increase. <laughs> calculate the ratio of increase. So she increased from 30 to 50. But which ratio did she increase with? We shall first of all say solution. Then we come and find, we say old old kilograms or all the amount we shall need to identify it then from there we shall also need to identify the new kilograms or amount or quantity then from there we shall also need to identify ratio of increment ratio increase ratio Increase. So we need to identify all these steps here. All the kilogram or all the amount of sugar that you use to carry. That is quantity. I can also say all the amount. I can say all the quantity. Then from there, we substitute all the amount or all the quantity or all the kilograms that this person was carrying. It was 30 kilograms. So I will say 30 kilograms. Let's call it all the quantity or old amount. All the amount and the new amount. 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 All is the same. So all the amount. What she used to carry, or all the quantity. When I say amount, sometimes I'm meaning quantity. So it was 30. Let's look at the second one. New amount, or new quantity. What was it? It was 50 kilograms. So she increased from 30 to 50 kilograms. Remember when you are finding the ratio of increase, we say new over old. We want to find the ratios now. So to find the ratio of increment, we shall now substitute. Where there is new, we shall put 50 kilograms because it is the amount which was given or which was increased to amount of sugar. So we shall have 50 kilograms divided by all the amount of sugar. The old amount of sugar was given as 30. So you shall say divide by 30 kilograms. So if it was divided by 30, I'm going to copy this statement and I paste it up here. So I'll say 50 kilograms divided by 30 kilograms. So I want us to work out this. Uh, when you look at this, we have the same units. So I will say these kilograms will cancel out with these kilograms. 
Then I'll say, this is zero, we'll go with this zero. A numerator divides a denominator. A denominator divides a numerator. This is dividing this, when you are canceling. So from there, we are remaining with five out of three. Remember, for us to write this in ratios, we said a ratio is supposed to be numerator to denominator. When you look at our numerator and the denominator, there is no any factor that can divide the two of them and give us a whole number only. What does it mean? The numerator and the denominator, they are not multiples of any factor. So from there, we shall say this will be now our last step by now saying, Therefore, the ratio, the ratio of increase, the ratio of increase will be equal to, will be equal to five to three. Will be equal to five to three. So from there, I'll get my ruler and underline here. I'm not using my ruler because yesterday my ruler got bro uh, broken, but uh, I'm purchasing for another one very soon before tomorrow ends. So next time, I hope we shall be having a ruler as we follow what the teacher is doing. However, for today's case, don't underline using a free hand because you have seen a teacher using a free hand. No, that is wrong. Use a ruler always so that your work will always appear neat and it will always be smart for the teacher to mark or any other person. So from here, if you also want to confirm whether you are correct or you are wrong, simply just come and say the first ratio is 5 out of 3 times the old amount. What is the old amount? The old amount is 30. So I'll multiply by 30 kilograms. If this gives us the new quantity of sugar, then it means we are right. So from there, I will say this three will go with this three. Here one, here one. Zero, one. I mean zero, zero. So it means 30 divided by three, it will give us 10. And five times 10, it will give us 50. And 50 kilograms was our new quantity of sugar. What are it meaning that? If it has given us this, then we are right. So the ratio of increase will be 5 to 2. Without wasting my time, I said example 3 will be the last example. So without wasting a lot of time, let's look at this. As I wind up with my lesson, I wouldn't wish to leave you without anything to do or to work out. You'd be, I'm very sure for those candidates who have been following us since the beginning of this program, they are now already set with their books. As you are set with your books, as I'm going to give you some work to be writing, consider the following. Stay at home. The situation is going to normalize as long as we cope up with the government directives. Once we follow the directives from the government, everything will normalize. God will enable us. Keep distance. Make sure wash your hands throughout. Whenever you access water, wash your hands. Become friendly to water in these conditions. Because if you don't, want, if you don't become friendly to water, uh, things will not move the way we need. We need to improve on our hygiene so much. Let's avoid but the contacts with friends, we know we love them, but time will come for hugging them and doing any other things, for handshakes will come in later. But as per now, don't risk to do it. As I summarize, I would wish to leave you with some exercise that I've tried to prepare for you here. And uh, when you look at this, at first, the teacher who is delivering the lesson is Teacher Fred. And in case of any inquiry, any comment about this, please, you can WhatsApp via this number. Don't call, just WhatsApp, and you'll be helped. 
you will be helped. You can also as well use messages. If you don't want WhatsApp, you can just use a message. If necessary to call you, I'll call you back. However, let's look at activity one. Activity one says, uh, find the ratios of inquiries in the following questions or numbers. A, what is question A saying? Question A is saying, 800 kilograms was increased to 1,000 kilograms. So they, are find, they want us to find the ratios that increase, the ratio that increased this 800 kilograms to 1,000 kilograms. We are going to use the same method and we will come out with the answer here. Let's continue to the second example. What is the second example saying? The second example is saying, I mean not second example, the second question is saying, 500 chairs was increased to, were increased, were increased, 500 chairs were increased to 700 chairs. So they want us, they want you to find the ratio that increased the DC chairs from 500 to 700. That is the ratio they want you to work out or to find out. Then from there, we shall come to C. What does the uh, C want us to do? They have said there were some 240 eggs. 240 eggs were increased, were increased to 300 eggs. So if they were increased from 240 to 340, out uh, to 300, then you realize that there is a certain ratio where this X increased at, and they want you to find that ratio where that increment came from. Then, lastly but not least, when we look at question, uh, question number D, it is saying five classrooms were increased also because we're increasing. So, they increased five classrooms to 15 classrooms. They want you to find the number of, uh, the ratio that increased five classrooms to 15 classrooms. That is what they are trying to mean. So you are the one to be in position to use the methods that we have been using to enable you increase all these numbers, all these quantities to find out their ratio which increased everything because everything is already increased. Just like for those who followed us from the beginning, they know what is supposed to be done. Just follow all the methods. Always, I encourage you, even if you don't write an example, you may be just following me when I'm working out examples. Then exercise, you do it alone. As you are still copying the exercise, I would also refer you, please, for those who have just switched on their TVs, and it happened that you have missed my explanation and you'd wish or you'd like to have a full lesson as it started and as, until it ended, I would advise you to subscribe YouTube channels of BTN TV, check their Facebook account, check on their Twitter account, check on their Instagram, you'll find everything. Meanwhile, at the same time, for any inquiry concerning what we've done, I would refer you to this WhatsApp number. Just WhatsApp your query, it will be answered. Send the question related to what I've taught, it will be answered. If you don't, have a, if you don't use WhatsApp, you can use direct messages, but you don't call, okay?
If it is so necessary that you need to be answered through calls, then I'll reply you immediately. Then we shall see how we can link up. Meanwhile, as I wind up, allow me to take this initiative once again to appreciate the staff of BTN TV, Wisdom Center, Director, the administration, and our parents and the government for the support of this initiative that is benefiting most of our candidates in the country and the semi-candidates as well. As you are outside there, I encourage you to be following this program for your own benefit as the candidate. Keep time. These lessons will always be there at exactly 9 a.m. And from there, make sure you also tune to BTN TV at 3 p.m. for science lesson. Early morning at 9 a.m., we shall always be having mathematics till the lockdown ends. As you are there, we pray for you as you pray for us. We pray for the country as we pray for our neighbors. Meanwhile, we say we wish you well and stay at home.